let's create a sphere and okay and go to the string go to description go to the tr tree views place and shaping joints which is okay let's go to make it and we can we can create as many joints as we want we can just place in them like that just trying to create a few joints all over the surface maybe that's okay now And I want to make these joints a little bit longer, maybe. So let's just select all these joints. And in the second, select something like five. Okay. And the tool off. Now let's talk about the joint animation. First thing of course, you should use guides, okay? Not attributes. No sense to use this technique. And it is really useful if you want to use the echo chain in animation. Okay. The first, okay, let's just choose show to see the the primitives. Which you can see the default is primitives. Now we can change the intensity of these just here. We can change this to something like, for example, five much closer you can change the width to something like 0.3 so as you can see we get quite some maybe five is a little bit too much three and maybe two okay I like it and here I really want to use this in animation so I'll turn this off. First things of course, uh, you have to go to the animation, guide animation. Let's just collapse this to make things easier to see. You have to go to the guide animation and click on these animation. Very simple. And you're almost done. Okay, you're in the live mode. Live, okay, this animation you turn this on or off, it is very simple to understand. And the live mode uh, tells you to um, that you are using the hair system, okay? Live mode looks like uh, that's what it's about. So you have to use good hair system. And you've got a few options. The first one the out for you for three options, penny tags. So you've got here penny tags, strokes instead of nerve scares. You can get nerve scares or you can use the intermission between these two. Um, let's just choose nerve scares. It's the easiest and most straightforward to understand. So you have four options here. Number one is attach head to the surface. So this is the surface, so the curves will be attached to the surface. Can turn this off so the curves will fall off and they will uh, not be attached to the surface. Usually, I would like to be attached to the surface. Water feels inferior or clearer grass will fall. It's better to be attached to the surface. If you want to be blown away or uh, it's a bunch of grasses, you want to uh, be blown by uh, wind, hopefully, you don't need to attach to the surface. And also, we can. Uh, snap a curve base to surface. Okay, this is the curve that is snap to the surface. Very simple. So the other collide with mesh and it, uh, okay, exact shape match. Um, it will be exactly the the shape of the curve will shape uh, will be exactly the shape matching the the joints. And I think the default option you can do it. Uh, choose 
in both Dave Steinem, okay, the Dave, Dave, um, the Dave Steinem service. So if you can see it, just turn this guy off. As you can see, these are the uh, dynamic pairs. They are not Gantt anymore. They are equal. The Dave dynamic pairs are based on the Gantt. So if you just play animation, as you can see, that they they will move. Okay, let's just increase the time slider to something around 1000. And there's a pre the frequency section. Make sure to use player view frame and real time. It is very important, especially player view frame to see uh, much more accurate. And the beauty of this section is that um, you have all the main dynamics options in the new play system. Okay, so if you go to the outliner. And choose nuclear control A to go to the attribute editor. As you can see, you've got gravity. You can change the gravity and interact these guys. All these <laughs> are curves, in fact. And if you have wind, uh, you can increase the subsurface to make it more accurate. So, so let's just, for example, let's change the wind speed to something like. 50 and if we play it as you can see it moves a little bit to that side but that's not enough this is where the scale attribute comes in you can um, make it smaller you can see where it can move slowly but if you want to move quickly just increase the pace as you can see it can move quickly and this is how and the, and the space scale it's much obvious how broad the effect will be as you can see here so this is something like maybe 0.1 and maybe 1 the default will be okay so let's just take a look as you can see and you can increase the wind speed to something like 500 with some noise okay here we've got a very strong wind okay but as you can see them the guises they are not moving whatsoever and the people have not attached yet so if you go to the etching section go to the filters in the guide animation and let's just select all the pairs that we created there are 102 pairs and attached to their system that's all so if you just look at that, you can see this, very beautiful, and we can go to the section, maybe change it to something like M, in the primitive attributes, change the base to something like 0 0.05, so as to resemble some Repairing. So let's look at that. So that's it. So we talked about how to use um, the guide animation to create animation in the uh, hair. Okay. And if you can make it slow or fast or you can still go to the nuclear and you can do so many changes here or you can go to the hair system even and in the hair system you you still have so many things like dumping or um, if you want to keep your shape more um, you can say start hair retraction to something like one so as you can see here you will have less effect I change it back to zero. As you can see, they have more effect. So it's and um, if you think they in they intersect with the surface, just select the surface. Go to um, and dynamics and mesh. Click passive collider, and if you do that. 
they will not intersect with the surface of it. Something cool. Okay, so if we just go back to the menu here, change the wind speed to something like 1000 uh, with the gravity of 100. So um, it tries to, to keep away from intersecting with the surface, especially that we just did with zoom transfer. Uh, not intersecting with the surface even with such a strong effect so let's just change it back to something more reasonable the attributes we'll be going to the nuclear change to 9.8 which is the default value and change this to maybe 300 and maybe the noise of 100 and let's just turn the okay so it's much more realistic so go to the x zoom and show me there we go okay so that's it okay that's for the guide animation. And one more thing is with the guide animation, okay, if we just put um, when when this is when these instruments with these are the curves and they're all attached to the surface, okay, instruments with that attached. If we reverse the curve direction, okay, uh, they will still be attached separate, but that not that side, the other side will be attached, okay. But here here there is a cool effect. Let's just do that for fun. We go to the surface, edit curves, reverse. Make sure the curves are selected. Choose reverse curve direction, and now if we look at that. Okay, it created a very nice effect. So the point is here is that uh, they are just two curves. Okay, you can do any kind of effect with them, and okay, like any other NURBS curves. Great. Okay.